I'm just going to go ahead and say no. No to Apocalypse, no to any of this, not even any remote possible connection at all. 100% don't believe it. I can see how some people might try to connect the pieces and make it seem like this could fit in, and that Apocalypse could be behind these things, but it literally just doesn't make sense and it seems more like wishful fan demand and fan imaginations running wild instead of what logically makes sense and what's been presented to us. When it comes to the discussion of mutants in the MCU, WandaVision got the biggest share of anticipation and theories and involvement of mutants when it came to that series. Then we had the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which actually got the least amount, but that's the one with the most setup for the mutants. So go figure that one out. Loki has had some, but not as much as WandaVision, and definitely not as little as the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So there's a scene in the fifth episode where we see what's going on at the end of time. And specifically, we see the Sphinx, and we see pyramids, and we see all these different things. And there's a theory out there, and some people are trying to say, this is definitely it. This is the big reveal. It's going to be Apocalypse. Apocalypse is revealed to be at the end of time and they're gonna do sort of like a setup of days of future past or something I've seen in some theories and people speculating so no to any of this none of this is gonna happen first and foremost if you're gonna do the Sphinx and connect it to anybody it'd be Rom Tut aka Kang <laughs> so Apocalypse no yes Apocalypse has the connection to pyramids and to ancient Egypt and all that, but are you really going to just inject Apocalypse out of nowhere with no established anything and still have him be like what a decade away from actually being a formidable villain in the MCU and make him the villain of a Loki series? Why? And on the second thought and idea of people saying, well, days of future past, you could tie to that. No, you can't. You literally cannot. Are you telling me that Loki builds up its entire plot to reveal that Apocalypse is sitting on some random piece of rock in the middle of space in a lighthouse fighting the X-Men? Why? This is what I mean when I say fan theories and expectations get out of hand this is one of those examples where nothing makes sense it's just wishful we haven't even read the comics we're just pulling off what we've seen in the you know general releases of mass pop culture consumption of a product that we've seen on film only there's literally zero connective tissue between anything happening in Loki with anything that would have to do with anything related to apocalypse like literally zero there is actually more evidence to support that Apocalypse is in Black Widow than there is to support that Apocalypse is showing up in Loki. <laughs> 